maybe the news is a bit you know premature we haven't necessarily got the virus under control but i guess from the very beginning this uh government that we have the tories were didn't really treat it that seriously and i think based on the comments we've seen lately from boris saying that you know he helps the common sense of the british public will lead us um to a point where we you know, can ease lockdown further down the line i think it goes to show that they were always kind of favoring the herd immunity the herd immunity approach um they didn't necessarily want to lock things down i think they wanted to do maybe maybe they wanted to have the kind of swedish approach to stuff but maybe you know the first couple of weeks of sweden did do the whole no lockdown the results weren't that good and they got a lot of bad press for it um so i guess that probably probably um, sh um made them a bit worried right the uk government and then they just got basically pressured into it, right? A lot of people on social, a lot of people on um, via those political phoning shows were complaining about it. And it got to a point where they're just like, you know what, fuck it, let's just lock it down, it doesn't matter, and get it over and done with. Ooh. Excuse me, there's a police car going past the window, I should have closed it, but hey. So I guess in the end, locking down did work, you know, it did kind of settle things down a bit, it probably gave people some kind of level of confidence. Um, but some would argue opening pubs up again probably could spell a disaster period for the uk but i'm of the thinking that it's actually a good thing all things considered i think we're again to a point where some really ugly parts of the uk were rearing their ugly heads you know race issues and class issues in this country are kind of you know sweeps under the rug people don't like to speak about them openly um, naturally so right i don't really think you should be broadcasting your political or societal views to everyone under the sun but hey we have social media so I think we were getting to a point where, you know, there was going to be some real difficult conversations that needed to be had with people who probably can't have conversations. So it's probably better that some of the kind of, you know, bad actors who aren't necessarily in it for hum aren't in it for the overall unity of the country should be distracted by shops and pubs. And then the people who are actually about this life should be the ones sitting around the table trying to sort things out. But moving on, this is the topic regarding it. This is from The Guardian. It says pubs and places of worship from what the 4th of July, what lockdown rules mean for England. So if we scroll down here, the most important part, pubs and restaurants. So it's obviously the distance thing we know now. They've reduced it from two to one. That's going to make it a bit more viable for bars and restaurants to open up and do business. That makes complete sense. And then with the pubs and restaurants section, you've got pubs and restaurants in England can open can reopen both outdoors and indoors with what the government calls a COVID secure way with more hand washing ventilation and table service indoors rather than customers standing at the shared bar people may be asked to give their names but pub landlords will not check the exact mat cup of an individual's household that comes into the venue or requests the identification that's obviously for track and trace purposes i think that's going to be a huge problem and i'm already i'm already seeing a few people on social talking about you know giving fake names and whatever it may be but it would be beneficial again the government's been so hands offish with this sort of stuff like we do a lockdown but not so much no it's not a serious one there's been some weird things going on there so i think a better approach would be to maybe mandate people to carry id around with them if you're going to do it seriously so that you could do a form of track and tracing right so that when the app does start you've got loads of data points that you could then input into it um but again i just think that they were you know they just don't want to ruffle feathers they don't want to ask too much of the nation that's already a bit you know split on what to actually do so maybe this is probably the best way to go about it um it continues here it says they will not be asked to wear face coverings a you which is mad a household will be able to meet with one other household at a time in the pub and restaurant then choose another household on another occasion nightclubs will not yet be reopened nor will casinos and the government said that they will be task force to ensure more businesses can open as quickly as possible i've also heard that they're going to permit everyone with a temporary license that allows everyone to uh, allow their patrons to stand outside and take a beer um, and go there because most pubs in the UK unless you've got a designated area you're not allowed to take drinks outside in the front unless it's got a smoking area thing so that's going to be good because a lot of the pubs don't have gardens right um big gardens are sort of like sitting and chilling especially if you know a bigger chain usually those kind of nicer spots get taken up by chain groups and stuff so that's a good solution um and again i understand the fact that casinos aren't open because you know the virus seems to spread a lot more in enclosed areas and if you're going to not allow people to stand around in pubs and only have seating areas hmm, that's where it comes a bit weird isn't it? if you allow people to sit down in the pub in order of table service then what difference is it if you're in a casino playing on a slot machine somewhere it doesn't really make as much sense does it 
but hey, what can you do there? They got accommodation, hotels, bed and breakfast, and holiday homes and campsites and caravans will be able to reopen. Campsites will be given guidance on how to be COVID secure, which I don't know how they're gonna do that. Um, work remains to be done on hostels uh, where there are shared sleeping spaces. Can reopen safely will will not be ready to reopen on the fourth of July. Um, and then of course the other bit that's a really important section here is um, theaters and museums they'll not be able to reopen uh they'll be able to reopen sorry but not with live performances as the government said that they want to protect the health of performers they could show previous work on the screen cafes and bars and restaurants associated with the venue will be able to reopen however museums and galleries can reopen concerts and outdoor music festivals will not be permitted so i guess museums and theaters is a good thing um no so not theaters is it theaters yeah muse theaters museums sorry, mostly and galleries is a good thing i think that sort of like cultural release and the ability to kind of roam around and peek in and hang out in a gallery is really important um it's something that you forget you miss once you're in lockdown there's certain things you just don't pay much attention to um cinemas galleries um coffee shops whatever it may be right places that you just hang out in and waste some time with you waiting for your friend um those things are going to be important to reopen um and of course the live performance side of it makes complete sense so you're not gonna have any no take late so all that sort of stuff is going on that makes complete sense as well and then exercise this is the only disappointing bit about it. it said gyms um indoor studios and indoor sports facilities swimming pools and water parks will not be reopening yet but outdoor gyms and parks many of which have been taped up by council since march will be um and those are those kind of little weird little freeway sort of stuff that we have around i think we have one near where i live and i think they have one in most parks and it does kind of like you know you could do a little what's that um, elliptical machine thing um they've got the bike with the yeah they've got a, sort of like a pedal bike thing most places have them um so that'd be great so you can do a little outdoor jimmy stuff but <sighs> there's a lot of conversation around oh why can't if pubs can open why can't gyms but we know right right if you're perspiring a lot in the gym and you're panting a lot um and there's not much ventilation in most gyms, especially the one i go to you know the ventilation is near poor they don't have windows that can open everything is done through an air conditioner uh, or vents in the roof and stuff so the airflow in there isn't the greatest so again they can't really risk that and i guess considering the age of most of the people that go to gyms and especially local ones and it's just no it's not worth the risk i understand it but it's disappointing for me in that regard i would have hoped they'll be able to do some heavy squats and deadlifts uh by the fourth of july but i guess we have to wait until another time hey what can you do move on why is it doing that for not letting me hmm. anyway what else can we talk about here what is the screen why does sometimes when you do the hotkeys it doesn't actually let you do it i wonder why that is very interesting okay there we go it's working now cool so what's next uh next on the list here we have ba, 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 ba. um cool let's move on to this bit here about no name no drinks <laughs> so the the idea where does it put it no so the idea around giving names obviously for the track and trace don't need to say that i already mentioned this but this is a cool little video that shows maybe what we're going to be in store for once pubs are reopen this is sort of like the scene from new york um it's pretty nice actually it's more of an introduction into you know when you're on a holiday and you go to the local strip especially in a mediterranean country and everyone's outside sitting on the grass sitting on the curb sitting on benches and stuff it's just all outside stuff and you're like wow this is amazing we should have the same stuff in the uk and then you get back here and everyone's stuck inside with a grumpy face uh trying to get the attention of a waiter somewhere right um i think this is going to be a pretty good scene to see around um london i think it's been happening obviously a lot during the time i've been indoors i haven't been around the hip areas but i'm sure in areas like such as hackney and dawson and stuff this is the scene probably people have been having because a lot of the bars and pubs have been doing selling what their kind of leftovers in the kegs or whatever i don't know how they're getting around it but some places have been open for takeaway and delivery so it's a takeaway and collection but i like this sort of like vision of what bars will look like going forward and hopefully they will basically allow some of these places to have that license that allows them to have people to drink outside in the front especially if they have security what's the problem right that should be a good thing to deal with unless people get unruly but i thought this video was really cool I'll pretty quickly play it for you here so scene from new york where is it video of what it will look like in it okay cool i can't oh i didn't actually link it give me one second let me get up here 
I think it was called New York Lockdown something. New York Lockdown Pass. I think that was it. See, it should be here. Concerning everything. Where is it? Come on, you motherfucker. There we go. Here it is. So, this is the video that kind of shows what we should expect in the UK when bars are reopened. And there are some new concerns tonight that more people could be spreading the virus as crowds are seen gathering to drink on city sidewalks. Many without masks, many not social distancing. CBS 2's Christina Fan is live tonight on the Lower East Side with more on that. Christina. Well, Jessica, people were partying as if the coronavirus didn't exist. We're talking music, food, and lots and lots of alcoholic drinks, as you can see right here. When we asked people how they felt about COVID-19, many laughed it off. What a job in it. You've got to go next. You've got to go to a busy street where everyone's drinking and having fun with their friends. You've got to put on a mask, do this dorky thing where you stand next to a stinky bin and next to a perfectly placed police car. News is amazing in America, isn't it? From the East Village to the Lower East Side, sidewalks around the city resembled massive bar crawl Saturday as people drank and partied. The pandemic appearing to have disappeared from memory. I have an app in my phone that sends me a text every day that says you are going to die one day. So I get that text and I think, well, what's it matter now or in 50 years? It's time to... Tom is definitely a troll, by the way. Let's not let's not uh, be under any um, illusion there. That was a perfect statement. Reopen the United States of America. The crowd so blatantly disregarding social distancing and many not wearing masks that they drew this social media rebuke from the governor. Don't make me come down there, he tweeted, including a video he saw of people on St. Mark's Place Friday night. But Charlie McCoy, out in the crowd himself giving free haircuts, said that so many people breaking the law is really an indicator that the economy has to reopen faster. We oh. haven't worked. And that's an indication as well. That's another one. Um, hairdressers are going to be open too, so I'm finally going to be able to get a haircut. And I guess a lot of boys out there are going to be um, doing some high fives, virtual high fives, all over the UK about that because we've been missing out. All the footballers have got their haircuts and stuff, and some celebrities, but we've been, especially I, have been in a constant state of rough rough and ready looking wise i quite like the beard the beard's because it's been a nice addition but the top has just been so unruly it's just you know ugh. worked in an entire quarter 90 days and if you are in our position then you would understand why you want to kind of get active again but many people were uncomfortable with what they saw including restaurant workers on orchard street on the lower east side who tried at times with little success to disperse the crowds you don't know who you might be coming in contact with so when you see this many people it's a little discomforting so we, we try to keep people off our benches unless they're buying stuff from us Fed up local officials held a news conference Saturday night, calling on businesses and patrons to be more responsible. They also demanded guidance from Mayor de Blasio and Governor Cuomo to deal with the problem. It's a difficult situation because we're supposed to order, to take, and to go. But there's no place to sit. It's not until phase two. The mayor was previously adamant the city would not tolerate such gatherings. But we saw a number of cases where marked police cars simply rolled past large crowds. Leadership again, and that leadership is suffering. But I, I quite like that scene. I think it's going to be work well in the UK. Maybe it won't work so well in the US because they don't necessarily, you know, it's a pretty densely populated city um not much room apart from parks to go and sit down and enjoy a beer or whatever so even if you did pick up a beer from a local shop how far would you have to walk to go somewhere to have a sit down i'm not too sure maybe those little smaller cages where people play basketball you could essentially do something but they're not i don't think they're everywhere across the united states and they might be in some sketchy places across new york specifically so i guess that's an interesting problem but again the lack of leadership the lack of direction from the people in charge is one of the telling parts of this whole covid thing and it it's really revealed the shortcomings of uh, politicians in general right they just don't have a scooby especially in crisis moments they don't this is now I've, I've argued that and i think it's true there's so many amazing stories of past generals politicians mayors 
you know, members of parliament, whatever they may be, who have done heroic things, right? When the chips were down and when it really mattered and they stepped up and sort of like, you know, um, took responsibility. And those are stories that have been lionized, right? Sometimes they have paintings of these monumental figures um, located somewhere around the building that they're in, right? So it's a big, it's, it's actually a big deal like to be like a you know to know how to handle yourself in crisis but they don't seem to be able to do it for some reason this is a perfect opportunity as well and you'd imagine right if you handle this really well people would remember it like you'd go down in history you, you you could do no wrong similar to what's his face the mayor of new york when 9 11 happened right just because he happened to be there and he dealt with it pretty well all things considered he's been you know even though his recent actions have sort of muddied his reputation but for the longest part he couldn't do anything wrong you imagine the same thing happen now, but unfortunately, not so much. But yeah, let's see what happens when they do reopen. Um, I'm hoping for the best. Um, I'm being optimistic that people will behave themselves. But, you know, us in the UK, we, you know, if you've ever seen a group of English people drinking in a foreign country, you know how we get down. So it might end up being an absolute bloodbath out there, but I'm hoping not. Or a beer bath, whatever. I'm hoping it is people are on their best behavior because I think spending about three months at home, locked indoors, trying to make indoors fun as outdoors, has probably made people lose their marbles. So once they get given some liberties, they should, should not, they should be in a position not to take it for granted, right? Because you've been indoors for so long. You hope so. You bloody hope so. But let's see. Let's hope. Let's